All right, what is up? So today we're back with another video. By the looks of things, you can tell what this video is going to be by the title. And yeah, so we just came up against the McGregor player in ranked, and I was thinking, all right, you know, just a normal game of ranked. But this man started taunting off the bat. He was taunting in between the fight, and yeah, we'll see. You know, he gets what he deserves. So, but there are a few scares in the fight because uh, my controller did die a couple times. And uh, I have a broken charger right now. So, yeah, we'll see about that. But, yeah, we just get into it. Kind of unaware who he is at the start. So, I learn his name then mid-fight. Um, just on the back foot with Volk. Gonna use the fact that I am kind of being pressured to my advantage. So, you know, when you're being pressured, you want to kind of have a good balance between um, being stationary and throwing strikes. Because, obviously, when you're moving forward, your strikes are slower. Um, so as you see there, I'm throwing two, three pieces just while I'm being stationary. All that, I throw four to five punches there, all stationary. Um, so yeah, I'm using that to my advantage. Obviously, if he wants to push the pace, I need to be able to you know, punish him for it. And then also you need to find a balance between not only obviously standing your ground and punching because if you're just stationary the whole fight, you know, you'll get jabbed, he'll step back. You need to find a good kind of... Um, mix between also countering and right now you see me doing that perfectly i'm kind of walking forward trying to bait out strikes at him then counter him and then when he comes forward after he being aggressive i'll try and plant down on a one two lead hook or something or a jab rear hook so yeah definitely that is a good that is the best way to deal with pressure you just need to find the balance between standing your ground or dealing with pressure, standing your ground, and also then finding counters off their combinations. There we go, beautiful. As you see, just an example of standing my ground there. I kind of pushed forward, and then I knew he would try to come in hard. Uh, that sounds a bit suspect, actually. Um, I knew he'd try to go into the pocket with lots of combinations, so I stood. Um, so, yeah, I stood still and uh, stood my ground and dropped him. And you see me doing that a lot, even when I'm pushing forward with moving forward strikes, their jabs and their laid hooks. And then when I throw my actual full combination, the vast majority is it, of it is when I'm standing still. As you see, I do go for a takedown here. I actually unintentionally went for that takedown. That takedown was meant to be the one into half guard. But thankfully, um, I end up getting them towards the cage anyways and I start raining down some elbows from soil control as you know soil control a very powerful position in this game right now so yeah I was happy to get him here um as well as that obviously uh McGregor on the bottom is not very good so yeah and uh Volk's ground striking stat is very high so being able to do some nice damage here and just kind of ride out the round get knee on belly can't get too much damage off but we do get a couple straight strikes there. Um, yeah, just kind of, as I said, round off the round. Round out the round. And uh, yeah, just baby punches then. But yeah, good round so far. Obviously starts taunting off the bat and all sorts. I'm kind of like, who is this guy? Um, but yeah, his name is Dagestani Fighter, I believe. He just kind of hangs around the rank scene a little bit. I think he, he, he is called Mo West. He was kind of more known in UFC 3, I believe. Um, now, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's him. Taunts at the start of round two as well. What is your problem, man? You know, he's coming out here. Overhands me. Hook. I, nice head movement so far here, but he does make me duck into an uppercut. Gets the drop. Tries to grapple me. You know, now I'm Dagestani for you, but he's using Connor. Not only taunts me again then. So, yeah, a bit of pressure on me here. He's just standing here, and he's not even AFK, because you can see him blocking, but I'm thinking, hey, if you want to just stand there, I'll just start chopping your legs away with Volk, and that's what I do. Definitely leg kicks that this second round I started implementing. Just the way he was kind of using his footwork there, once again, he tries to throw a strike, and I land a nasty inside leg kick. And then, there we go. I set up the leg kick. I set up the head kick beautifully just with leg kicks. Uh, hit him, and that gets me a drop. And then it leads to a takedown. So, yeah, beautiful setup. I was hitting him with the inside leg kick, hitting with an outside one into a straight and stuff like that. And then I do a moving forward laid head kick and end up cracking him and rocking him. So, yeah, here we go. We get him into crucifix now. Dagestani fire on bottom getting smashed. So, how would you like them, Apple Sun? He's trying to escape crucifix, but crucifix very hard to escape. That's why you 
just shouldn't let your opponent in crucifix. But uh, this individual's not very good. The little bomb. Taunt me now. Taunt me now. That's what I say. So yeah. Madness to be honest. And no. The start. It starts. My controller just died. The wire. Uh, I'll show now. I have another wire downstairs. But it just wasn't in my bedroom. So look. It's all fucked up at the moment. That's the wire I was trying to you know. Get working. Um, and yeah, to know, look, so I was thinking here, I'm trying to test, so I'm pressing the home button, see if my controller's charging, it's not, I'm turning it on, and I just think, I just need to turn it back on, I'll probably get about 15 to 20 seconds before it dies again, I need to turn it on, now I need to turn the pressure on, he taunts me again, as you see, I put on the pressure, I know I need to finish now or never, jab hook, jab hook, drop him, stun him, drop him, and finish him. Beautiful. There we go. So yeah, controller literally on its way out. Died about three or four times there and I knew. And it didn't even go back into charge. So I just knew I need to turn it on and just give him hell. And that is what I've done. So yeah, beautiful ending to that fight. Bit of a shaky, uh, bit of a nervy one. But still, got it done in the end. So yeah, Taunton McGregor player gets smoked. Gets what he deserves. Yeah, so yeah. Happy days. Nice little fight there. Dagestani fighter. Like I said, I think he is Mo, Mo West. Um, Some of you may have known him. If you watch the UFC 3 Ricky J tournaments, I think he beat Romero in the quarterfinals or the semifinals of that. So uh, one of his bigger wins, but mostly hangs around the rank scene. Taunton players with McGregor, I guess. Um, Yeah, happy days. Right, so that'll be that. If you have liked, the like would be appreciated. Um, please do subscribe if you have not already and remember to turn on that notification bell and I also do have channel membership if you want to join it comes with really good perks like you know um, emojis, chat um, priority subscriber fight priority and uh, training and all that good stuff so yeah appreciate yourself for watching once again and peace out